we now hopefully know a little bit about variables. And as we covered in the last video, a variable can be really, really any symbol, although we typically use letters because we're used to writing and typing letters. But it can be anything from an x to a y, a z, an a, a b. And so oftentimes, we'll start using Greek letters like theta. But you can really use any symbol to say, hey, this is going to vary. It can take on multiple values. But out of all of these, the one that's most typically used in algebra, or really in all of mathematics, is the variable x, although all of, those, all of these are used to some degree. But given that x is used so heavily, it does introduce a slight problem. And that problem is, it looks a lot like the multiplication symbol, or the one that we use in arithmetic. So in arithmetic, if I want to write 2 times 3, I literally write 2 times 3. But now that we're starting to use variables, and if I want to write 2 times x, well, if I use this as the multiplication symbol, it would be 2 times x. And the times symbol and the x look awfully similar. And if I'm not really careful with my pen penmanship, it can get very confusing. Is this 2xx? Is this 2 times times something? What exactly is going on here? And because this is confusing, this right over here is extremely confusing, and it can be misinterpreted, we tend to not use this, this multiplication symbol when we are doing algebra. Instead of that, to represent multiplication, we, do, we have several options. Instead of writing 2 times x this way, we could write, we could write 2, 2 dot 2 dot x. And this dot, I want to be very clear, this is not a decimal. This is just this is written a little bit higher, and we write this so we don't get confusion between this and one of these variables right here. But this really can be interpreted as 2 times x. So for example, if someone says 2 dot x, what is 2 dot x when x is equal to 3? Well, this would be the same thing as 2 times 3 when x is equal to 3. Another way that you could write it is you could write 2, and then you could write the x in parentheses right next to it. This is also interpreted as 2 times x. Once again, so if in this situation x were 7, this would be 2 times 7 or 14. And then the most traditional way of doing it is to just write the x right after the 2. And sometimes this will be read as 2x. But this literally does mean 2 times x. And you might say, well, how come we didn't always do that? Well, it would be literally confusing if we did it over here. If we just wrote, instead of writing 2 times 3, we just wrote 2, 3. Well, that looks like 23. This doesn't look like 2 times 3, and that's why we never did it. But here, since we're using a letter now, we're, it's clear that this isn't part of that number. This isn't 20 something. This is 2 times this variable x. So all of these are really the same expression, 2 times x, 2 times x, and 2 times x. And so with that out of the way, let's try some little, a few worked examples, a few practice problems. And this will hopefully prepare you for the next exercise where you get a lot of chance to practice this. So if I were to say, what is, what is 10 minus 3, 3y? And what does this equal when y is equal to 2? Well, every time you see the y, you'd want that 2 there. So this is when y is equal to 2. Let's set that y equal to 2. This is the same thing. This is the same thing as 10 minus 3 times 2. You do the multiplication first. Multiplication takes precedence in order of operations. So 3 times 2 is 6, is 6. 10 minus 6, 10 minus 6 is equal to 4. Let's do another one. Let's say we had, let's say that we had, I don't know, 7, 7x, 7x minus, minus 4. And let me do that in that same green color. 7x minus 4. And we want to evaluate that when x, when x is equal to when x is equal to 3. Where when we see the x, we want to put a 3 there. So this is the same thing as 7 times 3. 7, and I'll actually use this notation because I can use that with numbers. 7 times 3 minus 4. And once again, multiplication takes precedence by, by order of operations over addition or subtraction. So we want to do the multiplying first. 7 times 3 is 21. 21 minus 4 is equal to 17. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of background and really encourage you to try the next exercise. It'll give you a lot of practice on, on being able to evaluate expressions like this.